Despite how it may appear, these are two very different pianos. I've got with me today the Yamaha CLP785 here and the Yamaha CSP295. If you want to know the difference between these two models, you are watching the right video. I'll do my summary up front and then at the end of this video I will give you what in my opinion is the biggest difference between these two models. Resist skipping to the end if you can and stick with me. Can we ask for your support by pressing the thumbs up icon below this video? It really helps an independent store like ours get found here on YouTube. Thank you. Here's my upfront summary. The Yamaha CLP785 gives you the pinnacle of digital piano quality in a design which is highly faithful to traditional pianos. If you simply want the practical benefits of a digital piano, which is premium quality, but without bells and whistles, then this is the model for you. The Yamaha CSP295 gives you the pinnacle of digital piano quality, uh, equal in this respect to the CLP785, but it goes much further, breaking new ground in the way it incorporates modern technology like smartphones and tablets in a very sympathetic way to aid learning and performance and make the overall process more engaging and more fun, particularly with its excellent Streamlights LED learning system. If you want a blend of tech and tradition, then this is the model for you. Now let's get into the details and remember the biggest difference between these models in my opinion is coming at the end, resist the urge to skip all the way there and stick with me. The cabinet designs. Now both of these um, have classical upright piano designs much like the famous Yamaha U1 series of acoustic pianos. The CSP295 here has a larger music rest to house tablets, uh, for example, an iPad or iPad Pro, uh, or indeed smartphones for that matter, um, as using the Smart Pianist Companion app is integral to its use. We'll come back to that later on. Both of them also have the soft close uh, lid on them as well. Dimensions with these models, they are virtually the same uh, in their depth, front to back, and their width. The CSP295, as you can see, is 10 centimeters higher. That's the only significant difference in the dimensions. CSP295 is 15 kilograms heavier than CLP785. Uh, and to help you visualize that, it's equal to holding a medium-sized dog, a standard-sized microwave, or one large bag of potatoes. So uh, not insignificant in the difference in weight. If you've resisted the urge to skip to the biggest difference that's coming at the end, then well done you, you're doing well. Let's move on to the keyboards themselves because both of these models have the standard 88 keys of a piano. Both also have the Yamaha Grand Touch keyboard with wooden white keys. So don't expect any difference in the way that these pianos play to feel. This grand touch keyboard is an advanced digital piano key mechanism. Uh, no two keys are weighted the same as seen on the lower models where they have um, blocks that have different weights. On these every single one has a different weight for um, ultimate fidelity in your playing. They also have the counterweighted keys, the only ones in their range that do. Both models also have the GP response damper pedal um, for precise pedal control, uh, ideal for advanced pieces. Both models have the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand as their main piano voice and the Bosendorfer Imperial Grand. Um, high quality piano samples on both of those models uh, they are the two featured voices on both of these pianos, two of the world's greatest grand pianos built in to each of these models. Now I'm talking a lot about similarities here, aren't I? And this is uh, supposed to be about the differences and they are coming up, but I just wanted to give you an impression that 
you know, there is much on these models that's the same. Speaking of differences, that biggest difference overall is coming up at the end of this video. So stick with me as we move on to the tone generation, because both of these models include Yamaha's most advanced piano tone generation systems, starting with binaural sampling, which gives a realistic 3D depth effect to the sound when you're wearing headphones. And this is surprisingly effective when you're sat playing with these pianos with your headphones on, which by the way is a, a real perk of digital pianos in that no one else can hear you practicing while you're wearing those headphones. And binaural sampling, rather than having the sound sort of pumped directly into your ears, gives you somewhat of a 3D effect. Um, it really feels like the sound is coming from an object, the piano, in front of you, rather than going directly down a cable into your ears. It is surprisingly effective. Both of these models have that technology in there. Key off samples. Actual recorded samples of the key mechanism and hammer withdrawing from the strings for ultimate articulation and realism, the kind of detail that Yamaha's bods go into with making the pianos on these things. I absolutely love. Both of them have their key off samples. Smooth release is another one, and this simulates the variety of speeds of which the damper um, comes down on the string based on the speed that you release the key. So again, we're talking about detailed, nuanced playing and how these pianos accommodate that, allowing you to express yourself. We're talking about the top of the respective ranges here. So these are top end, high spec, premium digital pianos. More technology that's groundbreaking from Yamaha is in both of these models, virtual resonance modeling, and grand expression modeling, um, recreating the distinctive sound of a grand piano by accurately simulating the complex interaction of both string and soundboard resonance. Um, so depending on the timing of the keys being played and the timing and the depth of the damper pedals when pressed, these technologies produce various resonant sounds and allow for richly varied playing expressions. This means essentially more shades of color in your palette and more tonal variety to express yourself. So really top, top end um, piano, digital piano playing software in both of these models, Yamaha's very best. Um, for you lovers of stats out there, the polyphony is equal between these models at a, um, a fully adequate 256. Okay, so here comes the first differences in the designs. Uh, the really big difference will be coming at the end, so hang on in there, stick with me. That first divergence between these two models is in the way that you control them. Now this needs explaining because it leads to some of the major differences between these models. The CLP785 has a very nicely designed touch panel which disappears when you're not using it. Uh, leaving that uh, clean, traditional looking panel on there. Uh, you can also use your smartphone or tablet and the Yamaha Smart Pianist app to control the CLP785. But this is where one of the major differences between these two models becomes apparent. Let me explain. This Yamaha Smart Pianist app, which is free by the way, um, and you can download it to your device right now and have a look at the user interface, um, is compatible with both of these models. I liken the Yamaha Smart Pianist app when loaded onto your device and perhaps placed on the music rest of these two pianos to a window into the additional features that are available inside both of these pianos. The CSP295, while it can operate as a simple turn on and play piano like CLP785, when used with the Yamaha Smart Pianist app, reveals to you its hidden superpowers. And once you appreciate the differences, these two models will seem like totally different pianos to you. And here's what I mean by that. Let's go into that Yamaha Smart Pianist app, uh, also known as the Magic Window. So let's say that we've got this magic window, the Smart Pianist app, uh, loaded into our device and sat up on the music rest like this, um, but also on the 785. Here's the first difference that you will notice. It's in the voice 
selection, that's to say the different sounds that these pianos can make, like piano, strings, guitars, synths, pads, etc., etc. Um, the CLP785 will offer you 53. The CSP295 will offer you 872. So it's clearly a massive win for the CSP295 because alongside the high quality standard voices like the pianos and strings I just mentioned, there are hundreds of additional voices on CSP295 which give you a massive advantage when it comes to our next category, the rhythms and accompaniment styles. So firstly, you stat watchers out there will have seen that the CLP785 has 20 so-called rhythms and the CSP295, rather than rhythms, has something else, accompaniment styles and 525 of them as well. So 20 and 525. So it's another big win in the numbers column for the CSP295. But to truly appreciate the difference, it's important to know how rhythms, as seen on this one, uh, differ from accompaniment styles as seen on this one. I'll explain. Both of them are features to accompany your playing. Uh, rather like loading up a band or an orchestra um, to join in with your playing. Rhythms, uh, 20 of which are seen on the CLP785, are very basic. They give you a drum beat and a bass line to accompany your playing. Accompaniment styles, 525 of which are found on CSB295, are far from basic. They give you an entire band or orchestra replete with all ranges of instruments from its vast selection of 872 voices, all playing along with you and making you feel like you're part of a real performance. <music> They sound just like a real band playing inside your piano and the experience is so much more exciting than just playing piano on your own. The difference in the overall sound of rhythms uh, compared with accompaniment styles uh, is huge and you can see how much more the CSP295 offers in this regard. Okay, well, congratulations for not skipping uh, to this part already if you've watched the whole way through. And as promised, here comes what is, in my opinion, the biggest difference between these two models. In my opinion, the biggest difference between these two models is what they offer for people that are learning to play. The CLP785, by design, offers you essentially the same learning methods as a traditional piano. That's to say, it's just there, waiting for you to play it, not really offering you any help at all. And for the most part, you're going to need a piano teacher to teach you how to play it. You could dedicate your time to learning how to read sheet music. Uh, you might learn from a tutorial book or a video. And there are, to its credit, some pre-recorded songs that you can listen to and join in with. However, in short, without detracting from its quality in terms of touch and sound, the piano itself, just like traditional pianos, doesn't really reach out and invite you to learn how to play it. In other words, it leaves you as a beginner with quite a few obstacles in between where you are now and getting a tune out of it. So this is where things are very, very different with the CSP295. Enter the Streamlights LED learning system. Above the keys is a discrete panel, which doesn't detract from the traditional style and look of this uh, model at all, where LED lights appear, showing you which notes to play for any particular song, but crucially, 
It not only shows you which notes to play, but also which notes are coming next, allowing you to anticipate and position your fingers properly. It's a brilliantly simple visual way to learn to play the piano. And I've seen complete beginners come into our showroom and go from zero, not being able to play a single note, to sitting in front of this model, loading up their favorite song via the Smart Pianist app, and within seconds, they're playing along with their favorite band or their favorite orchestra, and they're just beaming with happiness. So you can go from, from zero to playing something and enjoying it very, very quickly. That's what this piano does wonderfully well. And 785, traditional, yes, but it doesn't really reach out to you in the same way as CSP, uh, CSP 295. Via the aforementioned Yamaha Smart Pianist app, you'll have over 400 preset songs in many different musical genres to choose from and learn. Plus, you'll be able to choose from your device's existing music library. And don't underestimate the power of that because all the music you've got on your phone or your iPad right now, um, perhaps for your iTunes, you can load that into the Smart Pianist app and this model will show you some rudimentary sheet music for it and also employ the uh, LED drop lights, stream lights as well. So all of that music you've got on your device that you love, you can actually integrate that with this piano. And again, that's inviting you and engaging you and getting you to sit here and learn to play. So when you compare these two models in terms of how quickly a beginner can go from not playing at all to playing along well with their favorite songs, you can see that CSP 295 is the clear winner. Because teaching somebody to learn to play the piano, in my experience, is all about motivating them and keeping that motivation alive, keeping that fire going. And with the LED Streamlight system on the CSP 295, it offers a brilliant and highly effective system which doesn't detract from the overall quality or look of the piano in the slightest. Uh, to remove these obstacles from the way of you learning to play. And perhaps most importantly, it just makes learning to play fun. Both of these models are available to order right now from our website, but if you have questions about them, leave them in the comment section below, or of course you can just give me a ring um, and the number that's in the description below and on our website. Talk to me or one of my colleagues here uh, in the store, or of course you can send us an email or talk instantly via live chat on our website. If this video has been helpful to you, please support us by pressing the thumbs up icon below the video. It really helps an independent store like us get found here on YouTube. Thanks very much for watching. We've got loads of extra videos available here on our YouTube channel and on ePianos TV. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.